Hey, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A small magnet is released from rest to drop through a stationary horizontal conducting ring. And this is the magnet. The, this pole is north pole and the above one is the south one. Fine. It is falling towards this. What is the variation with time of the EMF induced in the ring? So we have to find the EMF. What will be the variation of EMF? Okay. So one thing is very clear that once it is falling, so how is it going to behave? Obviously, the induced current will be there. The magnetic field is in the downward direction, you see, like this. So magnetic field is coming out like it is a reverse fountain kind of thing. So magnetic field is going out, but uh, the downward magnetic field is on an increase. Why is it increasing? Because the magnet is coming near to it. Now, if it is increasing, this will say that, no, uh, I do not want it to be increased. So it will create a current, which we, it, that current will create a magnetic field, which is going to oppose this magnetic field because it does not want the overall magnetic field to increase. So it means that the current will move like this. The current will move like this, like this. You see this so current will move like this and it is going to create a magnetic field which is in the opposite direction so this magnetic field written in pink letters it is going to oppose the magnetic field earlier now so emf is induced no doubt about that and we can just assume one direction to be positive so we take this direction to be positive now what is happening in the next case when it is passing through it so immediately when it passes through it the game is reversed so I have to create this diagram here. Let us say this is the ring and the magnet is now here. So this is the North Pole, this is the South Pole and magnet is falling. Now the magnetic field will be looking somewhat like this. It will be entering into this. It is entering into the ring like this. So ring will say that the magnetic field is downward and that is decreasing. So the ring will say, I will not let you decrease. So it wants to increase the magnetic field, which is in the downward direction. How this can be done by using this hand, like this is the way the current should be moving and thumb is pointing towards downwards. So it is going like this. So it means that current will now move in this direction. like this like this so current will move in this direction now uh, again I'm not using the terminologies clockwise and anti-clockwise because for that we have to mention a reference like seen from the above seen from the below it is clockwise or anti-clockwise so I'm not going into that I have just drawn the directions now this direction is taken to be positive it means this direction is negative it means immediately when the magnet crosses the loop the current starts moving into the reverse direction. So it converts itself from positive to negative. So in A, only positive current is there. A is wrong. In B, initially it is not zero, but it has to be zero initially because it is at the rest at the initial level. So when the time starts, the EMF should be zero. So B is wrong. D does not make any sense, but C is making sense. I'm going to show you this option properly. You see, one part of this is positive, another is negative. So definitely C option is correct. So this is the explanation. And now I'm going to show you the C option once again. Try to see now. So here, the EMF induced is positive. Later, the EMF induced is negative. It is zero when the magnet was far away. And it again becomes zero when the magnet is quite far away again. So C is definitely the correct answer. We will see the answer from the mark scheme also. Let us see. And yes, the answer given is C indeed. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. And please join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions um, for all of the topics. So with this, all the best. Bye.